G'day everybody, Brahma Guru here. Thanks for joining me. I noticed that right now during this global pandemic around the coronavirus and you know markets crashing and the likes that a lot of people that are in service-based businesses and small business owners that they're really worried about what the future holds for them because what what obviously happens is when you know they have to shut the doors and they cannot see anyone or they cannot have meetings face to face is that it obviously means then that business dries up overnight and the question is how long for? So if you're in a service-based business or you are a small business owner that is affected by the coronavirus and the potential lockdown and people needing to refrain from exposing themselves to other people through isolation, guess what? There is other ways to go about it. And rather than getting caught up in the angst and the fear around, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm here to say to you that this is an opportunity for you to start embracing technology that has already been available for a long time. And if you, for example, thought that going paperless was the next best thing, guess what? There is another best thing that specifically if you're a service-based business, um, that you actually are taking your services online. Let me quickly show you here on the whiteboard. The current, if you're offering services here, we are really now in a very challenging, turbulent time where now we've got not really a happy face over here. Why? Because a lot of our business and service offerings are alive. We have to somehow be there to actually make money. The second one is that it's face to face, which means, you know, if suddenly our meetings dry up and people are pulling out and then governments start imposing or even your, your employers or organizations are imposing then restrictions to social contact, then the face-to-face -face again is straight away canceled. And then, you know, it's all active, meaning you have to actually physically rock up and do it each time, which means if you're there, great. If you're not, it doesn't work or doesn't do your business any favors. And most of the time you're really locally restricted because you can only you know, meet these people face to face uh, to the extent that you can travel there geographically speaking and you can service those people in the area. So only the extent to where you get to, the places that you can travel to, the places that you can service and look after, only that is really you know, uh, the restrictions that you're imposing just already from the mere get-go through the business model you have. And last but not least, it's very limited. It's, it's a high cost potentially, even if you think that you might have a very low cost base. The thing is, it costs you a lot of time to travel. It costs you lots of time to, um, you know, to go and see people and meet them, find parks and all that sort of stuff. And um, it's also, you know, you, you can't scale it really because as soon as you get too flat out busy and your billable hours are maxed out, that's as far as it will ever go unless you kind of you know, beef up your hourly rates. And again, there's a cap to that. So it really is very limiting. Now, once again, is this really bad? It's not bad really. But right now, it's really, get, it, it's almost you know, putting the pressure on and it's screwing on. It's, it's screwing it much tighter for you, which means this model is right now proven to be very um, vulnerable. So let me now look at the bright side here we can really move into a more brighter future where we actually do have a smiley face again and where you really do more of your offerings online rather than face-to-face -face or offline, where you embracing technology, technology that allows you to um, meet people online, deliver content online, speak to people online, do coaching online, do consulting online, do training online and really good, both of them can be active and passive, meaning active is again where you actually have to rock up and do it in the moment, but passive means that you actually can almost automate it and scale it because if you have training programs, valuable content that you can disseminate to other people and they are willing to pay for it, guess what? You can pretty much pre-record it, put it somewhere where they can access it and they pay you a, either a one-off transaction, a payment plan or a subscription fee for the time, the entire duration when they are working with you. So a lot of it can be passive. The next thing then, it's not just local, it's global. You can actually access new markets, markets that right now might even be more looking for what you've got, rather than just the people in the close, close around or around the corner, you know? 
And last but not least, it's scalable. If you just think about the sheer numbers that if, you know, five people come on board on a subscription model of yours, 10 people, 100 people, 1,000 people, even though you invest the same amount of time when you do training and coaching or you provide mentorship, um, you can keep scaling that up. So the time that is involved is the same, but the potential of more people joining you from anywhere really, that is really the upside. And by the way, any time, because you don't necessarily have to have it in the moment when you're there, you can also have it perpetuated, as we call it, evergreens online. So if this is something that you really would like to learn more on how to do that in your business, so that you can take your service offering still, and it still be open for business, but just go with the flow, go with the new times, and you know, leverage the, all the tools that are available right now and have been for a long time and have already been proven to be successful and are already making other people a lot of money. Guess what? Then let me know in this, this comment here and then subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be releasing more and more content around it and particularly based on the comments and questions that you pose below this video. So stay tuned for more. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this. Tag some people if you like. Forward it on, share the love as I call it. My name is Bram and I'm looking forward to being a guide to you to navigate through these challenging times and help your service business prosper nonetheless. As you can see, I'm just right now shooting this video in the comfort of my own living room. I used to have a corporate office and I just got rid of it all. So now I actually can have more time free and still get paid well and so can you. My name is Bram again. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and make sure that you allow notifications to come to you because every time when I make a new video about this topic of how to you know, make your service business prosper beyond coronavirus and things like it that are challenging you in your current old business model, guess what? There is a new business model and you can also uh, adopt it. So stay tuned for more. Thanks again for joining.